A marine scientist helping the mammoth effort to free stranded pilot whales in Tasmania has told Sky News they are confident of saving more of the animals when the rescue resumes at first light. Almost a third of the whales died in what experts are calling one of the trickiest mass strandings they have ever experienced. It's an unnatural and tragic scene. Dozens of long-finned pilot whales stranded at Strawn in Macquarie Harbour on the west coast of Tasmania. All up, we're talking about over 250, um, a very big event. Um, we've got lots of live animals to deal with. It's a complex one, this one. Uh, it's one of, one of the trickiest uh, mass strandings that we've dealt with down here. Around 90 of the whales have died. 25 were freed on Tuesday. The ones that we've got off the sandbar and, and moved um, outside of the heads, some have um, headed out to sea and swam really well and, and we lost them to sight. Others are still milling around. Dr Carolyn says that's typical of whales that have been aground for some time. Now up to 60 rescuers, along with donated boats, are giving the animals their best chance of survival. They're using slings and manpower to push the whales off before boats gently motor the slings out to sea. Time consuming effort, it, it really is one at a time, um, but we've made some good progress today. We've settled on a method that works and um, yeah, we're hoping to pick up where we left off tomorrow and, and have some more success. Dr Carolyn says strandings aren't uncommon in Tasmania, but the pilot whales are usually found in much deeper waters. For whatever reason, something's brought them in close to shore um, and they've got themselves into trouble. The area where the whales are stranded relies on barometric tides, meaning water levels are unpredictable. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.